What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a text wipe animation in Premiere Pro. Now there's quite a lot of steps to this and you may get confused in some parts, so I recommend you follow slowly and follow carefully. Now I'm going to be starting with this one background image and this is how it looks. Now I also want to mention I've made this 8 seconds. When you first add an image into Premiere Pro, the default is 5, I've added 8 seconds because I believe that is a good enough time to make this effect. So from here, we are going to create the, some text by selecting the type tool and drawing out a box. From here, type in your text. Press Control A, come up to Effect Controls, and what you want to do is select a color that your next background color will be. So for instance, if you saw the example, um, I transitioned from black and white to this color that's on screen now. Now this color I currently have is perfect for what I want. So the way you would select it, select your color picker and select the background. Then once you're happy with the color, all you need to do is press Control A to select it all, line it up, come to the selection tool and simply position this to the center. Now I'm going to extend this out for the duration of this background and now we're not done yet, just yet. What we need to do is change this background to black and white. Now before I do that, I'm going to duplicate the background by holding Alt and dragging it off to the side. Then I'm going to come to my effects and I'm going to come to video effects, image control, black and white. I'm going to drag and drop this onto my background. As you can see, it's now black and white and this text is blue, exactly what we want. Now I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag out my text to the right. So it's now over this background. All we're going to do from here, left click the text and we're going to change the text color to white. Now the reason we're changing it to white is because the previous background, which is this background, has a grey slash white background. You can see there's quite a lot of greys, blacks and whites in that, but white is probably the closest to it. So hopefully you're following along just fine. Um, you've got one background which has the same color text as the opposite background and you've got this piece of text, which is the same color as this background. Pretty basic, and it can be any colors you would like. So the next thing we're going to do is add some sort of animation to the text so it's not just gonna be still the entire time. So I'm gonna left click my text, and I'm gonna keep this simple and just use the scale for this. You, of course, can be a lot more creative. I'm gonna change the first keyframe to 85, and then gonna come across towards the end and I will put it to 125. So it's made the text bigger, and I'm gonna drag this keyframe off to the end. I'm then going to left click the last keyframe. I'm gonna hold shift and select the first keyframe. I'm gonna right click and select copy. Then the next piece of text on the right, we're simply gonna to come to scale, toggle the animation, come to the very beginning, right click and paste. So now we have this same transition here on this one as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is highlight these two here, so the colored version you can say. And we're going to right click and we're going to select nest. From here I'm just going to put color and select OK. You can name that whatever you want to. I'm then going to drag this onto video track 3. Now the reason we've nested it will make a lot more sense later on in the video. Now if you remember this clip is going to be a total of 8 seconds as you can see. So that means that four seconds is the halfway mark, and this is what I'm going to be doing. So from four seconds, I'm going to go back 15 keyframes. So as you can see, as soon as I go back, it's taking me to 24. That's because I'm currently, or my sequence is in 24 FPS. From here, I'm gonna lay down a marker, and that's going to tell me 15 frames from four seconds. Then from four seconds, we're gonna to go to 15 frames forward this time. So that means it's going to be 4 and 15. There we go, and we're going to lay down another keyframe. So this is the time period the transition is going to happen. So the first thing we can do is trim the start of the colored one down to right where the marker is. We're then going to make sure we're selected on that colored version, come up to effect controls, and select a mask. Now I'm going to be using the four-point polygon mask. I'm going to select it, and now I'm just going to drag this off to the side, like this, and I'm going to drag the top corner all the way up. 
There we go, and now we need to animate the mask path. So we're going to toggle the animation on mask path, and we're also going to toggle the animation on mask expansion, and this will make a lot more sense later on. So select mask uh, bracket one, drag this across as much as you can before you start seeing any color. And as you can see, this is the furthest I can go. So to fix this part now, because we cannot literally go any further, you're going to right click, you're going to come to magnification and change it to 25%. So now we can see it. And all we're going to do is drag this one a bit more across, just about here. And we're also going to drag this one a bit across. And then to finish it off, we're just going to bump up the mask expansion, just like that. So no animation has been created just there yet. If I play it through, that's all that happens. So this is where these markers come into play. You're going to select the last marker here we created. You're going to highlight these keyframes and you're going to drag them across. We then come and come back to the first keyframe here. We're going to turn the mask expansion back to zero. And then we're just going to drag this one off to the left until it's off screen. And this has now created the keyframes for us. So if I play this through, this is now completed. So I'll change the magnification back to fit and I'll play it through. Just like that, super simple and a super clean effect. Now, if you want the um, transition to be faster, then these last two keyframes, just simply bring them in. You can see now this will be a very fast transition like that. And if you want it to be longer, just drag these last two keyframes out. And this is now going to be a very slow transition like that. But that's how you create a text wipe animation in Premiere Pro. I know there was quite a lot of steps to this. I tried my best to explain every single step in a lot of detail. And I also tried to keep this at a slower pace than usual. But that is how simple it is to create the text wipe animation. You can see it looks really nice in the end. Um, and again, it is super simple. You've just got to wrap your head around the steps I have shown you.